distinguished members of this committee. My name is YMBG, the DGSS. Having received the letter containing or highlighting the petition written against our service by the Honorable Chairman of Gasol Local Government, we made inquiries and conducted records checks. And the outcome definitely at the local government, at the state and the national headquarters of this service or of our service, confirmed that the names reflected in the petition, that they are never, they have never been arrested by our service. They have never been on our record. And uh, we communicated same or same outcome of that investigation to this distinguished committee. May I add, distinguished chairman, that when I assume the mantle leadership of this service, we set up a committee to look at the cases of all the detainees in our service. And based on their recommendations, we release so many of them. Those that were either turned over to the service, but there was no proven evidence to take them to court, or nobody came to substantiate on the allegation level against them. So we ordered for their release. Those that committed or the accessories to the maybe offenses committed by the uh, maybe other suspects on acts of terrorism, we look at their level of involvement. Those ones too, we granted them administrative bail and some we took them to court and they were granted bail. So this is the position we are. Uh, in fact, we receive, you know, appeals from either lawyers, or relations, or relatives of people we detain. And we oblige, we ask them either to have audience with them, or if, it, if their case is nothing uh, that can be taken to court, we release them. And this is my position, and this is what we will continue to do. Thank you very much, sir. Mm -hmm. Uh, the, 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 the executive chairman of the uh, Gaso local government council in Mutum, BU, you know, approached the Senate of the Night Assembly and the complaint reads us. We wish to write and complain about the missing of our sons from Mutum, BU, Gaso local government of Taraba State. The arrest of four middle aged men. But on, 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 uh, on identified security personnel on 17 May 2012 at Magami area of uh, Jalingu, Tarabasi, where, where they reside, the arrest took place around 9.30 a.m. The unidentified security men arrest this gentleman without any proper explanation. We went to police station, DSS, and army in Taraba to complain and confirm the arrest, but they told us they are also not aware of the arrest. Over six years now, no any information regards, regarding their whereabouts or the reason for their arrest until now. When one Musa from a Wukari got in release from DSS, who told us that he seems to know about their existence in the custody of a DSA. He seems to know about the ICA in the custody of DSS. We are appealing to the Senate President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria to help the innocent citizens by doing all the necessary to get them released as justice, as, as, as a justice stated. The victims include Muhammad Ali Yusale, age 40 year old, a serving immigration officer, two, Awa Danjuma Naibi, age 41, a businessman, Salisu Soga, age 44, a serving army personnel, and Sule Magami, age 42, a farmer. We wish our company will be 
duly consider. And much attention we count on your support and assistance. You can see the old Nigeria. We have done our own bit as the Senate of Ninth Assembly. We have invited the DG DSS. He has made it clear to the old Nigeria that uh, these four men are not in their custody. In fact, there is no reason why they could even arrest anybody six years ago without arranging that person before the law court. We suspect maybe some element of Boko Haram are taking this people beyond the border. But we are announcing to the old world, to the old Nigeria, these four men, if they are in your area, please do not hesitate to give information to the nearest police station how their whereabouts can be located by their you know, family. On that note, it is clear, the petitioner, that DSS, they don't eat human beings. And if they arrest offender, they know the right thing to do. And they don't have a burial gun in their custody. So, to the best of our knowledge, I think we'll continue to you know, make announcement to the old Nigeria, if these people are still alive, one day, the God of Nazareth will bring them home safely. We arrest them. Here we are, uh, the indigenous of the Senate, our leader. And for the petitioners, the chairman has said it all. Because the DG SSS is personally here. It's not being represented. He didn't ask somebody to come and represent him. And uh, it's a very serious matter. And he has spoken. He has said it all. Uh, if the people are actually in his custody, or in the DSS custody, he would have said so. Uh, so, rechannel your energy to other directions, because we live in a country where so many things are happening. Uh, it is very obvious in my humble view, that these men are not in the custody of a state security service. And this is very significant, because even the man that you said, uh, who spoke to you, said the, person, the man claims, seems to know, it's not very definitive. And if these people are in the custody of uh, DSS, there's no reason why they must say the people are not there. But well, if they are there, you cannot go there by force to bring them out. They have no reason to lie. And the man, the head of the place, is personally, and that is, I'm very, very satisfied with that, is personally here. So that this particular case is a good example to so many others who may be thinking that some of their men are missing. And therefore, they are likely to be in the custody of uh, the state security services. And this is very significant. This is the Senate of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. We are not joking here. So thank you very much, Mr. Chairman, for the opportunity to continue to say something. Thank, thank you, sir. Um, Mr. Chairman, thank you for this privilege. I'm pleading. With due respect, I have the photograph of uh, the victims. Two of them. Two. Two of them. We may have. Ali or Bakar Sali? Yeah. Ali or Bakar Sali? Yeah. So the photographs are here. Excuse me, Mr. Chairman. It's not enough for it. Huh? Personal assistance to the chairman. To the chairman. That's our local government, Taraba State. What's your name? Abu Bakar Aliu Saleh. Yes, sir. Your personal assistant to the chairman of local government? Yes, sir. He had an injury, leg injury. He had, a, he had an accident. What's the relation between him and the before that? What's the relation I wanted to plead because the people are here. Maybe if they use their picture, we can still do more findings with them. Uh, bring it, uh, like for instance, we are not uh, NTA here. But uh, test whether these men are your, 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 your to confirm whether they are there. Yeah. I see, 
we, we decided so impressed with the DSS to spend a, number one citizen of DSS sitting here. You know, he, he's been here for the past almost uh, two hours. We urge him to wait so that he can see what is happening in the Senate. There are people who voted us here what they are facing there. That's why we asked him to wait. Now, he has made a clarification that they are not in their custody. I understand, sir. What we are now saying is that uh, if you have their picture, submit in the secretariat, then tell the chairman of your local government if they can go to what? NTA. Well, for them to make uh, you know, announcement and put these pictures there. Now, anybody who knows their whereabouts should please, should please contact the nearest police uh, station. So yeah, our security agents, they are not to eat anybody. We have done all that. You've done that? Yes. The, only, the reason why we are saying this is that their names. So probably their names is not stated. You don't know these people's names? That, no, I mean, when they took them. You must have asked them about their names. You, when they took them. They're, they're so that's why I'm only pleading to maybe use picture to try to identify them, actually. We, 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 you, also, you also need to use, let the chairman of your local health office a monthly allocation. Let him go and pay NTA, AIT, and the uh, channels, and do a lot of, uh, what do we call, a lot of, uh, you know, you know adverts on these people. These people may be, they may have married another woman. When they see this, are you not the one here? They will bring people for you. One of them. <laughs> these are possibilities. Yes, sir. Sorry, Detainees or the suspects are security agents. One is an immigration officer, and then the one is a, a military man. Go to their units because we have interagency uh, relationship. There is synergy between us and other services, and they are supposed to look for their staff. Even you know that's one. You know you, you can conduct the inquiry through them. If they have not done it, they have not, there is no correspondence between them and the service. If there was, it means that they established that they are, those people are from, uh, you know, were taken by our officers. We have interagency relationship. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Mr. Chairman, yes. uh, first of all, let me appreciate the director, uh, the DG of the DSS for coming here personally. It's a great honor to the committee, and we're happy you are, you are here personally. From what the little I have heard, I want to believe that uh, in our Igbo adage, we say, and I say, if you carry the corpse of another person, for somebody that is not related to that person, you think it's just ordinary wood you are carrying. We are talking about missing human beings. These are not chicken. These are not goats. Human beings are missing. 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 And as Nigerians, we should be concerned, we should be worried. We should find out where these people are. And to that extent, even though Mr. Chairman has talked and we are all laughing about uh, the jokes associated with it, but we should, be, we should get more concerned about this. And to that extent, I feel, if you have information, vital information, that makes you believe that they are with DSS, you should tell us. This is the place, we, the only place we can now ask the director of uh, DSS in the view because the, this represents the, the entire Nigeria. This is a court where a, a committee that represents the interests of people that cannot go to court, that don't have money to go and hire staff. Tell us if there's any information, anything you, that made you believe that they are with DSS. So that's the, the thing I want. Maybe there's other, other things you have said I have not known, but I want you to know why. What? <laughs> huh? You have said something. Huh? I understand the, the, your point of view, sir. I'm only trying to explain the incident, the way they came on an arrest. Usually, the way they came, they were putting on some unidentified uniform, they were all those black uniform that usually DSS use. So meanwhile, when they came, it was around 9.30 a.m. Yeah. in the morning. The person, one of them is my blood brother, same father, same mother. One of them, the immigration person. So I was, I was informed it was in the morning. So the way they came, people believed that, okay, 
it is uh, personnel because they, they, they mixed up. They, they, their uniform is mixed up. But it's unfortunate we went to DSS then, seven years ago, to complain. They said they don't have any information. They're in Jalingo. We, we, we try using that immigration of, office too to trace. They don't have. Most of the prisons we don't go. Nothing like, like about. So what made us believe? Before they took them, they, were, they, they already dismantled some of them right there. As in they broke their legs, which they don't, is, they don't even know their names. So we believe that using their picture to do thorough search in there, we are pleading and praying. Using their picture to know, to, to search. My friend, we, okay, we, 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 we